welcome back to the channel it is a wednesday morning and we have got some orders to get out today we got things to do so let's start this vlog and let's get going first things first we are at office depot this morning because your gal needs some shipping supplies and if you're wondering yes i procrastinated ordering my shipping supplies online so they are not here in time and i have orders to get out so that's why we're here at office depot getting them here i know that this is not the most cost effective approach but you do what you got to do Okay, I do not see the rigid mailers here, so I'm gonna go ask for some help. Maybe I'm just missing them, and if they're not here, I might have to go somewhere else to find them. Okay, well that was a bust. Next stop is gonna be Walmart to try there. Literally, so out of breath from doing anything these days. So, uh, let's go to Walmart. Oops, I ended up in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. How did that happen? <sighs> just what I needed. Yay, they have them. All right, guys, we are back in the office. I did manage to find the envelopes from Walmart, which these will work perfectly fine. They are not as big as my normal ones. Normal envelopes are like this size, and they are this size. So it's like a 9 by 12 versus like, I think this is a 13 by 15 something. I'm not sure. I have two transfer orders for direct to film transfers and they're actually smaller designs like seven inches and five inches. There was no sense in wasting my last two of these giant envelopes when I know that I need those for larger orders while I'm waiting on the other envelopes to come in the mail because like I said, I procrastinated. We have got some t-shirts to make today, some sweatshirts. We've also got some transfer orders to cut and pack. We're gonna get started on those things. We'll see how much energy I have today and kind of go from there. But I'm thinking I want to make some new items for the shop or I wanna photograph some things. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll kind of see what mood we're in. So let's go. Turn the heat press on so it heats up. And while that's going, we're gonna cut our transfers. <music> are cut as you can see this design that I was talking about last time still super popular really cute for Halloween and then we've got some dolly prints these are all for t-shirts and sweatshirts that I am pressing for wholesale orders so let's go ahead and open up the apparel box Got t-shirts and sweatshirts laid out. Transfers are right there. Heat press is almost done. And then what I've done is I've gone ahead and set up my phone as well so that I can record an Instagram reel slash TikTok video. I like to post on social media pretty frequently, obviously. I have this second tripod. This one is from Amazon. It's really great if you're filming with your phone. So I'm gonna have a link down below for you guys if you wanna check it out. And I always record on a 4K 60 frame per second with my phone. I do have an iPhone 14 Pro Max which I also shoot some vlog clips for. So this is kind of my angle here. It'll get me kind of pressing through a lot of the shirts so that I can turn that into like a sped up video or add it with other clips or do whatever I'm feeling. All right, heat press is ready. Let's get going. Sweatshirts are now done. As you can see, these were all this dolly print, which is literally our best seller. Super duper popular. Now I'm gonna fold these all up nicely so that we can start getting them packaged and put away. Especially gotten too hot in office, so I put my hair up. I always take like one of our clips that we have in our inventory, um, but we have these listed on the website now. We have light pink, hot pink, orange, turquoise, and green. I love these little flower clips. I have super thick hair, and I was able to literally like <laughs> put all of it up. Love that. Now, let's get started on packaging up these orders. Need to do a little restock of our small poly mailer. These are really cute pink cheetah print ones. 
I get these ones on Amazon. So I will have them linked down below for you guys. All right, now let's try it. We've got transfer orders done and apparel orders done. Let's grab my computer, head over here, start weighing out the packages and printing their packing slips. to weigh on the scale. Yep, so we're gonna have to go weigh this on my regular scale. I'll be back. This order is actually going to a boutique in Ohio. Um, and if I didn't explain it earlier, we do offer wholesale. So I have our wholesale website linked down below. Basically any products that we create or we source or we make whatever, we sell them at wholesale pricing. So you buy them in bulk and then they are priced so that you can sell them in your boutique or your store if you like our items. So yeah, I'll have our wholesale website linked down below for you guys to check out. But that is all the packages we have officially gotten all the labels on them i'm gonna make my little pile over here and probably take a little picture for instagram then we'll have to go to the post office later so something that i do daily in my business is i like to prep for the day ahead so the next day that's kind of how my flow works typically our orders go out in one to three business days so if an order comes in on like monday i will typically prep like the transfers for that order and i will also order any apparel needs that i have for that so that the next day i can go and pick them up and make that order sometimes it's a little delayed so it gets to the third day as well just kind of depends on my flow for the week and what's going on so that's what i'm about to do next i'm actually going to sit down and make the photoshop file for my dtf transfers so this will include dtf transfer orders and if there are any apparel orders that i need personal transfers for as well so that's what i'm going to do now let's do it so this is basically what a photoshop file looks like that is ready to be printed out for the dtf printer we've got a lot of these halloween prints that i told you guys were super popular and then we've also got some of these boo y'all ones which are really cute and this person got seven inches and 11 inches of this design so we've got a lot of those i added some really cute little hat designs these ones say believe in your own magic they're really really cute there'll be little designs that go on some of our trucker hats so now 
now this file is ready to go for the printer. So something I try and do every day is upload obviously on social media. I went ahead and uploaded an Instagram reel for today and then I'll add it onto TikTok as well. And then I also went ahead and added it onto our Pinterest page as well. I like to keep track of these kind of daily tasks here on my Notion page. Notion is just a really great like organizational tool that I really like to use. But basically I break it down by my different businesses and kind of like my daily and then weekly reoccurring tasks. And then down at the bottom, I can put any kind of like random one-off tasks that I need to remember. So this is a really great way to keep myself organized on track and just like holding myself accountable each day. So basically what's next on my list is that I actually have a doctor's appointment at like 2.30 and it's one o'clock now. I'll probably leave at like two because it's pretty close, but I wanna go drop the um, packages off at the post office. So it gives me about an hour. I think I'm gonna work on adding some new listings to the Cotswold & Co page, which is is again our apparel so it's like t-shirts hat jewelry accessories that shop and then I'll also add new listings to our Cotswold transfer business that is where we sell direct to film transfers so the little clear sheets that I was putting onto the t-shirts earlier and pressing the design onto the shirt with those are direct to film transfers we do sell them and we sell lots of pre-made designs as well as customs if you are a small business and you're looking for some really cute designs to put on apparel or accessories. Um, I will have that link down below for you guys per usual. If you want to order customs, basically you choose the size that you want and then you can fit as many of your designs within that size and then that way you can have as many as you want <laughs> and we have lots of great things over there. If you guys ordered those, I will also have that link down below. And then lastly, I'm going to probably work on some new graphics. So if you guys don't know I have a SVG PNG file shop where I sell really cute SVG and PNG files that you can use again as a business. So it's just designs that you can use for cup wraps, tote bags, hat shirts, like you name it, whatever you want. Here is just a little sneak peek at some of those. I try and add at least one new design on here a day. Yesterday I added two. I think I'm gonna try and shoot for that as well again today and kind of see how that goes. So many links for you guys in the description box and probably on little cards popped up throughout the video too. So make sure you are checking down below in the description. <laughs> The ready to press designs for the DTF shop are officially up. I always upload them onto Etsy first and then I use this little app on Shopify called Shuttle to help import them all over to our Shopify store. The ones I have listed today, we've got in my cozy girl era which i actually made this artwork so that's also available on my svg png shop we've got spooky babe which has got a cute little cow ghost and some little cowgirl boots this one says hello autumn it's just got a bunch of cute fall stuff cozy season i love these little retro character designs and then we also have this one that says sweater weather so those are the five new designs that i've added for today we have a ton of really adorable fall and Halloween designs that are available in our direct to film transfer shop. So as I mentioned, I will have that link down below if you want to go and check it out. Feeling so good on the checklist. I've gotten all of my listings up except for my graphic shop, which I will likely do later. And all I need to do is a regular TikTok video as far as this other work stuff is concerned. Now it is 1.23 and I'm thinking I want to kind of tidy up a little bit of the space over here and then we're going to get ready to rock and roll to the post office. The post office looks absolutely crazy so let's hope that this doesn't take long. 
so I am currently in bed as you guys can tell I've gotten back from the doctor and I'm just kind of chilling out and working on graphics for the Lolo's graphics business I went ahead and uploaded this little little like cow print ghost this little floral pumpkin and then kind of this little howdy pumpkin here but I like to use procreate to pretty much design all of my little designs here's some of the other ones that I've created recently and yeah now that I've uploaded those three I'm feeling pretty good for the day so I think we're gonna end it there so don't mind me just closing off the vlog literally in bed now chilling because after that doctor's visit y'all I'm just so stinking tired and it's almost four o'clock now so I'm pretty much gonna wrap up with the work for today and we're gonna call it the end right here on the screen for you guys I'm gonna link another vlog I think you'll want to go and check out as well as the entire playlist full of them if you want to go and binge watch down here you're gonna find my subscribe button so you guys can stick around for more videos and lastly I'm gonna link you over to my Cotsold & Co website there you'll be able to find everything so that you can shop wholesale regular apparel and even links to my transfer shop and the graphic design shop in case you guys want to go and check out anything that I've mentioned in today's video. Without further ado guys, that's going to bring us to the end. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys!